Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 2. This is Ron Moore along with, for the first time in a long, long time, Danny, a.k.a. Lens of Truth. How's it going? Hey, yeah, I haven't used that name in a while. <laughs> yeah, and you were, one of the last videos you did with me, I think, was Ocarina of Time, my, my Ocarina of Time LP back in probably 2013 on the Ron Moore channel. Holy moly, three years ago. Yeah. And so, yeah, um, right now, still in the slow part of the game here as Link is still getting to know everybody and learning how to use swords and slingshots and stuff. And apparently ladders. Yeah. <laughs> and now he wants to make breakfast. Come on, get a move on. Uh, so, yeah, what are some of your, uh, and, and in case you're not aware, Danny, uh, December 11th was the, um, as of this video being uploaded, it's past December 11th, um, and that was the 10th anniversary of the release of Twilight Princess in North America for the GameCube. So what were some of your fond memories of getting this game? Did you wait in a long line or anything? Oh man, so yeah, I, I actually got it um, with my Wii, and I remember when I got my Wii, um, I had to stop at three different places. Um, it was Target, Walmart, and one other place, um, Toys R Us. And... Uh, the first two places I went to, which was Walmart and Target, did not have any more consoles left in stock. Now, mind you, this was at something like 7 in the morning, so it was early enough where they should have still had them, but the Wii was selling like crazy. Yeah. So I finally go to Toys R Us, and it turns out that they weren't going to actually open up until 10 o'clock, and that I was there early by three hours. And they handed me a ticket and said, hey, you can get the system at 10 o'clock, just come back here and let us know, show us the ticket. So, I ended up getting the Wii and Twilight Princess at the same time, and it was magic. Yeah, I had my copy in reserve when it was EB Games in June 2005, but as you know, it got pushed back and pushed back, and so I did not get it until December 2006, and by that time it was GameStop. Yeah, so that guy right there, uh, that wuss, now we're going to go talk to his wife at the shop here, and... And wait, well, wake up. Hello? Hello, can I get service here? <laughs> She's depressed. She doesn't want to give you service. What's she so depressed about? Ah, oh, her cat's missing. So she is depressed about her cat missing. And so we need to go out and find it before we can get any further with her. It seems to be a common theme in games, finding the lost cat. Yeah. I've seen memes on Facebook where it shows a cat in a spotlight and it says, your gaming instincts tell you that you have a side quest. This cat may have a side quest for you. <laughs> but yeah, I've waited a long, long time. Not long, long ranch. Long, long time for this game to come out and I didn't have the Wii at the time so I got the GameCube version which I preferred because I was still sketchy on the Wii's controls and I said ah, I feel more comfortable playing this game on the GameCube. Uh, get out of here Terry Taylor. Hey. What the heck? Who's calling me? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Halloween's over dude. Halloween's been over for a while so... <laughs> Looks like uh, Sean Stasiak a bit longer hair and a wrestling reference. Longer hair, or longer forehead, rather. Oh, so is that... Yeah, that's the missing cat. Yeah, they can. Have you heard of a catfish? So let me jump on these things here. And what I need to do here is get that cradle for that woman that I talked to a few minutes ago. And in order to do that, see that monkey has a cradle. So now i got to call Mr. Owl. Th thankfully not the owl from Ocarina of Time. And, or, or not an owl. What is this? An uh, eagle? A hawk? Hawk, yeah. I guess. Hawk. I, I said owl. Um, yeah, so summon this hawk here. And, yeah, go get that cradle for me. Go fetch that cradle. 
Should you really give the cradle back to the lady if she lost it by letting a, uh, letting a monkey steal it? I mean, is she really a responsible parent? <laughs> well, I mean, those monkeys are annoying, so... It's probably hard to stop them if they try to get something. And there's more than one monkey in this game. And there'll be a lot of monkeying around later on. And so right here, we got the cradle back and... So now I gotta follow her back to her house. <laughs> I'm just like tossing it around, like, hurry up! <laughs> well, she's pregnant, she can't help it, she gotta walk slow. <laughs> ah, nice, I got the fishing rod. Now I can do fishing just like it did in Ocarina of Time. Link looks so mesmerized by it. Whoa, a fishing rod! Dude! I think Link is just easily excited. Yeah. Everything gets... Da -da -da -da! You get a rupee. Do you think that his theme plays in his head when he picks things up? Just like he's kind of crazy? Yeah. <laughs> So where am I going here? I need to go where where the cat is. Which he should be around behind this house somewhere. There he is, or she, whatever it is. No, don't fall in the water, you idiot. Go fishing. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I go fishing by getting in the water and just grabbing it with my bare hands. Here we go. Something fishy's going on here. I'm fishing for likes here on YouTube. I'm sure that's a very efficient method. All right. All right. And hey! Wait a minute! Douchebag cat, where are you going, my fish? Oh, wait. Uh, it just went... Oh, it went back to its owner's house. Oh, good. Let's see if she'll be in a much better mood this time. Oh, cool. Get free milk. Which means I have a bottle. And you can also use it for energy later if necessary. Now, how many bottles are in this game? I forgot. Four. Okay, sounds about right. I guess Fairly four. certain there's four. Pretty much four in all Zelda games, I guess. Um, except for Majora's Mask, where you get six. Oh, okay. Well, I need to get that slingshot, but I gotta do some grinding first before I can do that. It costs 30 rupees. All these pumpkins around it. Halloween's over. What? Oh, shut up. So, almost done here grinding. Yep, got 30. Now I can get the slingshot. Can I beat this game in one hour? Not by a slingshot. Oh, fail. Well, actually, long shot. Rather. That's in this game too, right? Long shot? Yes. Um, something of that Something of that accord. Not quite long shot. Yeah. I guess we'll see, right? Yeah. Never know. I think there I is have a, not played this game. There's an old Nintendo Power joke where it says, How did Link score the goal in basketball with a hook shot? Do I want to know the answer? No, I just said it with a hook shot. Oh, with a hook shot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm blonde. <laughs> and, all right, so now we got the slingshot. Nice. All right, with 50 pellets or seeds or whatever. All right, so let's get out of here and move on. Clearly, I don't have the Triforce of Wisdom. <laughs> I need the Triforce of Courage to get through this game, or and Wisdom, because I, I forgot, man. It's been a long time 
I mean, geez, I probably haven't beat this game since 2007, 2008. Oh, well, now watch out. I'm going to jump in the water so the bees can't get me. Did you ever realize that the letters for the Triforce, that stand for the Triforce, is P, C, and W? Oh, Power, courage, wisdom. I never, never thought of that. So, yeah, PCW is ECW. Yeah, that guy's such a pansy in this game. He's, he's got kind of like a Trumpian face. Yeah, he's all hunched over. Oh, oh, I'm no good. Oh. You know his wife wears the pants. <sighs> Emo. Anyway, let's move on over here. There's the mayor. What? Talk. Hey! What? <laughs> oh no. Jeez, oh, I ain't got time for this. Get over there. Come on, Fado or Fadu, whatever his name is. Be a be the ranch hand that you are, whatever title you are in the ranch, and do your job and stop these goats from escaping. That's one thing I didn't like about this game is handling the goats and doing the thing we gotta get the goats in the barn. That was I was like, I don't wanna do this unless I think if you do it again once you get a heart piece. Yeah, you get a heart piece. Um actually a lot of different communities do not like the goats. Yeah. And I thought, what was the point of that? Just to help you learn how to ride a pony better? Which, I don't know. We talked about that in part one, but I don't know. Yeah, we could do it without the goat, uh, the goat part. There's I think it's just the Zelda tradition that not every every Zelda has to have one mini game that just makes you angry. Yeah. All right. So, ouch, Bill. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that big tarantula first or camel spider before I go up the ladder. Oh, it's not, it's camel spider. It's not the gold sculptures and hope they're in a time. Alright, so what's his name left me a present? Nice, wooden sword. It's not the master sword, but it'll do for now. Yeah, and I mentioned this in part one, and I um, mentioned this when I was a part of the old school MSN Zelda group. I This is the game where I understood, um, I found out that this game had an unofficial timeline where the spirits of you know, Link, Zelda, and Ganon were all reincarnated spirits. Because, and oh, that was stupid, I'm going to get pwned. Ouch! Um, I, thought the, I thought this is another sequel. And I thought, you know, this is Link, and I think Link's uncle, whoever it was, said, you're about to go to Hyrule for the first time and meet Zelda for the first time, right? And I'm sitting there reading that going, no, this is the hero of time. Do you not know who this is? This is Link. <laughs> and then I was explained, no, no, that these are reincarnated spirits. He's not the original Link. Oh. I did not know that until Twilight Princess. All these years, I thought it was sequel after sequel. And even though I, I thought Ocarina of Time was a prequel for sure. Which, in a sense, it is. I don't know. That timeline's confusing. Yeah, actually, as someone who is a large Zelda fan, I have been looking over the timeline in the past couple days. Yeah, the official uh, timeline, uh, that book, where it. Uh, I rule the story. Yeah. yeah, there's a split in the in the timeline, depending on if Ganon loses, no Korean time or not, or whatever. All right, so now I gotta. Use my slingshot skills here as I kill the scarecrow from um, the Wizard of Oz. Come on! My aim is my aim. true. Yeah, my aim is false. There we go. The looks on these kids' faces whenever you do everything right. <gasps> Girl, stop dancing. Stand still. That one little kid, that the the, the tiny one right there, freaking Cabbage Patch Kid Reject, gets on my nerves. 
He's kind of frightening looking. Yeah. He's all condescending. No, I'm not going to teach you how to use a sword. Learn yourself. I'm not on my horse. I'm not on an opponent right now. And there's Colin, probably the only nice kid in this village. Well, I think those other two over there are, are just nice, but that little, that little one is just condescending. He needs a spanking. All right, I'll teach him how to use a sword. I mean, you got to anyway, right? Before you move on. I suppose so. What move? Be more specific. Do the chickens attack you in this game like they do in Ocarina of Time? Um, actually, there's an interesting thing with the chickens in this game. So when you get to see one, you should try attacking it and see what happens. Yeah, I may do that. Trust the old spin attack. They better watch out. I'm gonna actually slice. <laughs> Technically, I should have sliced their heads off, but of course, the game don't want to have that happen. <laughs> then Zelda would be ready to end for mature. <laughs> that impressed him, especially that little douche. Wow, Ron. <laughs> You have a strong opinion about him. Yeah. Is it because you're afraid of him as well? Yes. I'm afraid of him. He's freaking creepy. Ah. Uh, reminds me of uh, that movie with the evil monster baby, zombie baby, years ago. I forgot what it was called. But anyway. Whoa. Okay. That, well, one, one of those monkeys are back. And, where are they going? Are you going to try to catch it? They just threw a monkey wrench at me, and now I gotta go after him here and get distracted. Oh, I thought that was a bottle. Right now, so we're gonna cross the bridge and go to Farron Woods. I remember the first time I discovered the engine on this game and how so many things can be done with the bridge strings, the ones that hold the ropes that hold the bridge. Yeah. Oh, really? You can actually cut the bridge. Wow, I never actually knew that. I had to come back here because I forgot I need to get a Pona in order to proceed further, jump over that gate. So let me get a Pona here. As the rum more mowing some grass down here. Where are those freaking kids at? Whoa. Hey, a screech. Nice hair. Yeah. Oops. There's nothing in your hand. What are you talking oh. I got the lantern. I'm definitely gonna need that. As I go through the cave. I need oil. Alright, so I'm equipping the lantern. Is it just me, or does the equip screen feel really clunky to, to you? No, not really. I haven't had read any problems with it, any issues. Okay, I already have oil, duh. I thought I had to buy some, I guess, and I already came with it, so. 
All right, so I'm ready to go here. I just need, well, if I can remember where to go. Let me go inside that cave. Okay, here we go. I'm feeling caved in. Wait a minute. Oh, that's not a good sign. Got uh, lining up all those uh, what is it? No, I don't know what it's torches, torches or whatever. I feel like playing Shadowgate now. Lighting up these torches right here. Is that necessary or do, do I, does it unlock anything? I forgot. From what I remember, it just helps to see around the cave. Oh, okay. Well, what is that noise? I don't know what I killed, but I'm glad I killed it. Oh, DQ plant. I had to deal with something similar in Mario 64. Oh, probably I'm sure it's a rupee worth 20, maybe. Oh, 10. And of course, they'll keep on reminding me every time I think you start the game. It remind you, hey, you got a new rupee as if you collect it for the very first time. Mm hmm. Trying to conserve my oil here. The other side of Farron Woods. Is it Farron or Farron? Am I saying it right? I always pronounce it Farron. I suppose you could pronounce it either way. Yeah, because I mispronounced a lot of names in the Zelda series. Like, again, I thought it was Seth Skull Tula. I thought, whoa, hold on. I thought it was Skull, Skull Wall Tula. And when I found out the correct pronunciation, I felt like an idiot. And, uh, sorry, I thought it was Saria because I know a girl's named Maria. It's not Maria. So I figured it was, uh, Saria, and then Deku Tree. I, I, yeah, I was called the Deku Tree instead of DQ. So yeah, I'll probably I'll probably butcher some more names in this game. Now, interestingly enough, pronouncing it Deku is not very far from how I believe they would pronounce it in Japanese, which would be Dek. Ah, okay. Now, don't feel as stupid. Okay, so now I gotta beat these, uh, whatever the heck they are, uh, trolls? <laughs> More of these cave bats, what they, the heck they have? Okay, good, I'm glad I escaped. Feels like Metal Gear Solid there, just escape, and then if it's on the, Metal easy, Gear. If it's on the easy difficulty, they'll stop following you in the next area. <laughs> and die, jeez. Shot him like four times in the head with the seed. I guess the seeds don't really work on those guys, only the much smaller enemies like bats. All right, more rupees. Oh, and hopefully something cool. I think that's a heart piece. How would you react if something just materialized in front of you? Oh man, I don't. Uh, that would be trippy. I'd just be too mesmerized to even move. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to open it. It seems like it'd be like a contract with the devil or something. Yeah. I was like Pandora's box. Yeah, Leah, let me leave the cave in style. What do they have? Like long tails? Hook tails? What the heck? Baron Woods is beautiful, reminds me of the Lost Woods and the Link to the Past. So 
and that was one the also another video of mine that you were in back in 2012, the low budget review of Link to the Past. That's true. Jeez. This music still playing. Dun, 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 dun. Anticipation of finding the children. I think I've seen a meme on Facebook where it shows Link's mowing services. It shows him mowing the grass for rupees or whatever. Me, me and Link, me and Link team up. The wrong one, all with Link. Okay, so now that I got the key, I can get through that gate. Oh, jeez, more trouble. Just beat him upside the head. That's how you usually solve problems. Yeah. Problems. the other guy a long time to react ouch in your face come on jeez come on do your spin attack Man, four of these guys with Don King hair or none of them might have like, big ponytails Oh, Screech's bird. Buy something. Won't you shut up? I'm trying to... I'll buy, how about buy some more seeds from my slingshot and shoot you upside the head? I'm trying to rescue some kids here. Whoa. There's one of them. He's trying, to hit, trying to hit me with his club. He's trying to go club me. Right, be careful. Watch out. Well, I got some skills to do that without actually slicing them. Right. I always question that. Yeah. <laughs> Russell. Or maybe it's Ruzel. <laughs> Probably not. I never seen Russell spelled it the way he spells it. Kind of like one of those names like I am error or maybe it's Error. It's not funny. Shut up, Russell. Yeah. Back to Ordon Village. Or Ordon. Ordon might sound more cooler. I don't know. Was he half human, half uh, beast or something? Based on his mustache, I'd say he is. Yeah.
Open your eyes! Yeah. <laughs> They're both acting like they... Like, yeah, you're right. Huh? Um... Excuse me, I kind of need that horse. No, you don't. Yeah, I think I do to actually, uh, well, I mean, for it to deliver. I guess I could go on foot to Hyrule Castle, but that would take a while. You definitely use the Pona. Jeez, again? Really, dude. Man, hire a new ranch leader, wherever the heck he is. They could also just put a gate there. Yeah, it's true. It's too bad yeah. that the mayor of Ordon Village is so hard to get a, a hold of in order to talk about these issues. Yeah. Yeah, this place needs to have Mike Hager as the mayor. Alright, so here I am back in my house. <laughs> what do you mean won't let me through? I'll just push him aside. <laughs> Hey, shut up. I had to rescue you from whatever the heck kidnapped you. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not going to let you pass. Hey, can I borrow your wooden sword? Sorry, kid. Wow. <laughs> you won't let me pass? And no, I'm not going to let you borrow anything. Do you need to go to the bathroom, dude? What the heck? I didn't even know there was a second dialogue if you said no. <laughs> yeah. So now I need to go get a Pona back. And as I learned in Ocarina Time, rolling is the fastest way to get somewhere without the horse. Which doesn't seem very practical. Maybe if I roll into the gate, it'll open it. Um, that is my horse, so, um... Alright, so I need to sneak in through that little tunnel.
Reminds me of Ocarina of Time right here. Kind of has more of a Wind Waker, Wind Waker feel to me. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't play much of that game. I could not get hooked. Also, Metal Gear Solid esque type feel. Also, reminds me of Die Hard. Oh, hi, Link. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Red don't really care for. What's her name? I say Mr. Red. That's actually a female horse, right? Epona's a female. Yeah, I don't know why I said Mr. Red. We said that in part one. Welcome to Let's Play Mr. Red. You play as Wilbur and you get to ride Mr. Red. Uh oh. Nice music right here. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa! To be fair, I was starting to get bored. Yeah. Oh no, a shot or what? Ouch. It's a good thing he fell on his back, because if he fell face first, he would have drowned and died. That'd be the end of the game. Link with his Spock Star Trek ears. Who are these guys? Where they come from? Maybe it's Maybelline. <sighs> Whoa. A portal to Dimension X? Well, that's the first interesting thing to happen in this game. Now, what happened? Where'd they go? Whoa, what the heck? What is that? Sephia color. Whoa! <laughs> the heck is that? Where the heck am I? What's happened to me? Whoa! Ouch! That is really cool about this game. Link can be a, you can play as a wolf. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Who is that? Right, who's that being? Well, very interesting end to part two. We got to see what happens in part three as we are now in the, like I said, the Twilight Zone. Or the Twilight, whatever it's called. Thank you very much, Danny, for joining me for the first time in, what, three years? <laughs> yeah, three years. No problem. Uh, definitely, I'll definitely try to have you back in more parts. And uh, cool. until then, guys, see you later. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.